I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that trip. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine near... Do you think there's a connection to the trip? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. The way... We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw... Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol... After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. Mind a bloody job at Green Dog. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Goblins will finally rule over with... Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Who's there? Afraid <laughs> to fight. You will regret coming here. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. I should tell you, rumor is this mine...
ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. For better or for worse, you're in. Wait a moment. Why is a grapple not quiet enough? <laughs> Mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Incendio! see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. There's something here they want. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs.
Incendio. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Incendio! I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. What do you have there? Revelio, a journal entry by Isadora. 
Hopefully it will help us unravel Sebastian, more of this mystery. I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been every... But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft... And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbol? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient... Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this man... This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the tree. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Runrock. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Runrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know... I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went... No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not... Why would I listen to someone so... You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable.
What are you up to now? One of the best meals I've ever eaten. <laughs> Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its hold. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit town when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if you... I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet.
Incendio! At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Here. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Incendio. This room is truer than it looks. Incendio. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Incendio! Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. Seems odd. Back here. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Incendio. What did you find?
looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring back. Of course. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we need. Hold on to that diary entry. There may It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more Rebellion. to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. This archway's been barricaded. We can find a way through. Done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable. But, so, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know that. I couldn't agree more. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Dramatic, isn't it? 
Rebellion. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you.
you going? You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. never end. Incendio! Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. I can't believe it. After all this, it lined. What do you suppose is meant? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. I'm taking it. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. 
Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And something has to. Sebastian's right. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could... What if the choice wasn't yours? What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium! Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd, but I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken. You're not ominous. Fine. <sighs> I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way, come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. Revelio.
As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Those gobblers in my family were in the mines at one time or other. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? You may be right. Very well. Probably... What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What? Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even again. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notice. Why, Sebastian?
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that... I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared... I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. The dragon that attacked my carriage... That attack always... Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor... Exactly. Merlin. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. Goodness. Well, that's... Don't worry. I'll guard your secret as if it... I shan't press for more details. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. to keys when you know Alo Homora. You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? Talk about them. I honestly can't remember the last time I spoke to them. 
Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I miss the old credit gold. enjoy her voice but professor Scott was so interesting <laughs> forgotten more than often <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. Of course. How exciting. I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of... Good to hear. Good to hear. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms for Rebellion.
know what that means. Merlin trial. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Bef of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retreat. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational... Damn Bragbor and his blasted... Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. What do you mean, repository? Large, magically fortified receptacles cr- Ranrock recruited others to help me locate them. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morgan- Rookwood Castle. That is- why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for them. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. Here comes my friend Amit. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagali. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can re- I can, sir, Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plan. What written plans? And why can't you come? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows, or is... And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone rip... All you need to do is not be seen. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. is looking at us. Rebellion. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn how to get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward.
still can't believe we're inside a real <laughs> I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Amit, you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. safely, Amit. You have my word. We're being watched by a door. Clever. Mm, we won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. Rebellion. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Revelio. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Revenia. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Rebellion. Rebellion. 
If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lord Gok empty-headed. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Avelio. out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed.
Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however... I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the... Yes? If you... Sh I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fick's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. <sighs> The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has... I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spint Witches as soon as you can.
Your hello, Revelio. wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged this on the broom upgrade for you. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I... Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. However, if you're flying higher... I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade... Do be careful, of course. I shall look... I look forward to our next meeting. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Off on another adventure, are we? Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me.
wizard will be spared. I should investigate. You've one less follower, Ranrock. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Revelio. Over here! 